All right, so our next step here, uh, probably the step people uh, are most concerned about, is we're gonna peel all the wiring off of this thing. Uh, our goal today, uh, we're gonna just try to get it up and running as quick as we can. So we're not gonna be too concerned about moving ignitions, moving coils, eliminating things. We're pretty much gonna run the same factory harness. Uh, well, with all the components that are on it, really all we're gonna get rid of is horns and blinkers. I'll walk through, kind of point a few things out as we, we strip her here. Uh, and then down the road, we'll uh, at some point do another video on uh, how to wire these things bare bones. But uh, again, for today's purpose, we're just going to peel it all off in the intent of reusing everything that's there. So we're going to start up top here, just start loosening everything up. Kind of work our way down. Peeling all our clips off, zip ties off. All right, that should get us. So horn, just two little connections here. We're gonna undo those guys. We are not rerunning the horns, so we don't really care much about this, but we'll get them peeled off and out of the way. Connectors up here. And again, we want to get this stuff all out of the way. We're going to be cutting frame, welding on it, doing all that fun stuff. So the more we can get out now, the less we got uh, got in our way at that point. All right. Back underneath here, we're going to find this little connector here which is the power from our regulator. I'm gonna unplug that. These two, your other regulator connectors. Get those undone. This last little guy we still got hanging on there is for your oil pressure sensor. It just pulls straight off. Uh, if you were eliminating your gate, your lights up on the dash, that one is your oil pressure sensor. You're not gonna need that one. that clip off there she's a little little oily and sweaty under here All right, so we're freeing her up here Here's to our pickup for our ignition. Just push the little clip in, pull it apart in theory. Get that pull down there. Off to the side. Uh, majority of these are gonna be pretty easy when we go back together, two to two, one to one. Uh, all kind of go only one way, so not too much we need to keep track of at this point. Tucked way up in here is your neutral light. Pop that guy off and feed that right down through. Just kind of start at one end, pull wires to get things freed up. So this guy here is going to stay with the motor. This is for your pickup. Poop there. All right, so here's our neutral oil pressure and regulator power wire. Get all those pulled out. Bounce over to the other side here. We already got our brake light switch wires unhooked. Start snipping some more things here and we'll go to, through this a little bit when we go to the, the assembly where, where things go. Right, right. 
And back to the other side one more time. So here, this green wire right here is for your starter exciter wire. Unplug that guy, definitely gonna need that one. Feed it through. All right. Back to cutting zip ties. Loosening things up. I'm doing clips. Maybe. Right, got her all kind of floating here. You are spark plug retainers here. This one's all loose. All right, we are going to. Undo our two coil wires. Uh, good thing to do, I'm not going to do this, but uh, uh, probably a good thing if you haven't done a bunch of these. Uh, snap some pictures, take a quick video. Uh, you know, before you undo a connection, you got a white wire and a pink wire. Snap a quick picture. Uh, the more the merrier when you go back together. Takes care of a lot of questions. How things were run, uh, what connector goes where. It'll make your life a lot easier on the, uh, the back end. All right, we are getting somewhere. I don't really know what's holding this up here. 7,000 zip ties. So this little guy, we got the cover pulled off, just stuck in there by some little little rubber um, whodunits there. That's your ignition control module, your circuit breaker. So get all that kind of out of there, tucked out, loosened up here. So your speedometer sensor here, unplug that, we'll leave that. Wire goes to the sensor itself up in there. We're just gonna leave that with the motor. No need to undo the sensor. Just kinda get it up out of the way. Right. More zip ties, more zip ties, more zip ties. Again, blinkers. We are not running. So we'll probably just snip those. out of our little coil bracket here. We're gonna do this plug wire, keep that with the coil. Start feeding. Hop back over to the other side real quick. So here's our Bose sensor. Pop that connector apart. Make sure you're pulling on the connector, not the wires themselves. All right, now all that should be kind of free to peel out this way. It's kind of the beauty of uh, eliminating a lot of this, this stuff. It's just a lot less wire showing, but for the sake of this, Or the plug wire. All right, we're winning. So we're pretty much free from the handlebars all the way back here. We're free here. We got all this stuff disconnected. Our brake light switch. This guy's kind of pinched down in there. down in there. Alright, 
Right, get that freed pulled out of there. All right, so now you can see way down in here, we have a whole bunch of ground wires connected to our motor mount there. So we're gonna pop that uh, nut off to get all those grounds out of there, which are connected into our harness. Get that off. There's a whole stack of grounds there. Peel those out. We'll throw this nut back off there. We're gonna be taking it off, but that way we know where it came from. All right, so we got our starter wire. We got all those grounds. We're gonna have to pull our power wire. We got this one wire here that's coming from our starter. So we'll get that pulled out of the way. Take a battery cable off there, which is sitting on top. Pull that power cable off, which is your main, main power. Throw our nut back on there. All right, so now from the bottom, we got the last one we already unconnected there. We're gonna try to feed that guy up through there with that whole situation. And out comes the spider web. So this is all disconnected from the bike now. We're just going up to our gauges, our handlebar switches. Uh, we're gonna take this front end off whole, keep it separate from, from the bike. So we don't really need to take any of that stuff off at this point. So I'm just gonna throw this up out of the way for now. And there, our harness is out. At this point, we are ready to pull the front end. So since we're gonna throw this thing back on, we're not doing any wheel tire changes, we are gonna just pull this whole front end as one unit. Uh, basically what we'll do is we'll take the top triple tree off. We've got a couple of Torx heads here. The uh, stem nut, we'll lift that off with the handlebars. All the controls are gonna stay in there. Um, so we'll just flop that over, slide the front end out. Uh, we got it hooked up here where we, we we have the bike balancing uh, on the lift in the center. We strap the back down, and then what we'll do is we'll just crank the back down to kind of lever it up and be able to slide that front end out. Uh, obviously, I understand we have the luxury of a table and all that, so this is the part you're definitely gonna need to employ your buddies, get some help um, to get that out, or uh, if you're an ingenious person and can hulk that one out yourself, then good on you. But uh, first things first, we're gonna get the clutch um, cable disconnected from the motor. So Seth's gonna pull uh, pull it off just at the lever, so then we'll just leave that hang onto the motor. All right, so first we're gonna do is get ourselves a little slack in here. So we got another jam nut here, half inch down here, 9 16 Run the jam nut all the way up. All right, so right underneath here, take your snap ring pliers or a couple O-ring picks. We're gonna take that snap ring off. Try your hardest not to lose it. Pull your main pivot pin out. Slide, slide that whole guy out. Pull your plastic pin. And there we have it. So there, we'll snake this guy back out. And we will just let this clutch cable live with the motor. Now everything on the front end is free and clear. All right, so we're going to start on getting these bolts out to loosen up. Get your ones on your tubes right here. You'll have the one on the stem nut both sides. So we're just kind of crack everything loose. Got a uh, 5 16 socket here. 15 16 5 16 would be a little small, you know. Should be able to lift this right off like so. A little tight. Bring her over. That's the best place to lay that. Slide her forward. 
like that. Back on there. All right, you got frame, I got this. There we go. Not the prettiest way, but uh, less pieces removed. Yeah. So now we are at the phase where we're gonna pull this motor. Uh, gets a little tricky. There's a bunch of different tips and tricks on, on getting it out. Um, sometimes guys will lay the frame sideways. If you're solo, that's kind of the easiest way to do it. Lay it sideways and pull the frame out around the motor. Uh, we got two, uh, two of us here, so we're just gonna kind of manhandle this thing out of here. Uh, first thing, we're gonna pull our uh, shift linkage. We'll take this all off as one. Just pop it off at the shaft here, loosen that. Sometimes it takes a little persuasion. Get that off and pull our front peg here again. Again, this model is equipped with forward controls, so uh, results will vary. All right, so when it comes to motor mounts and the bolts, you have your top motor mount, you have a front motor mount, you're going to have your lower motor mounts and the rear one. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to loosen up. We'll take this top one completely off. You have four Allen heads. This one has a backer plate that's welded, so you just need uh, the Allen bit and a ratchet to break those loose. And it's kind of best to, to loosen all this stuff up so that you're not putting any undue stress in one location at a time. Um, the motor's gonna kind of start shifting. That's kind of why we're going top down. You leave your support down here. Um, the one thing, you don't want to also pull all this out and leave these back ones tight. Um, this rear motor mount is part of your case. So uh, if you just have that hanging and that's supporting all the weight, that's a good way to put a crack in your rear motor mount. Okay, so we pulled the top motor mount. Uh, we'll certainly reuse this. This is your, your Vose, as Seth talked about earlier. Uh, choke mount, all that. So we'll set this aside, put our bolts back in there. All right, so your top one's certainly your easiest. We'll move here to the front, these lower ones and the backs. Uh, so we'll just get all this broken loose and then get our nuts out and uh, hopefully pull this thing out of here. Blinded by the light. Just a quick review on these. Your top, this mounts in there like that. These mount to your uh, motor. Your top one is threaded all the way in. There isn't a nut on the back side over here. Uh, your bottom one is gonna be threaded all the way through with a nut you'll have to grab. So uh, this one you probably have to break loose with an impact. Um, these were all factory sets, so there was a decent amount of Loctite on there. And then the rest of them are all just in on these little tabs right here with a standard nut and bolt. So as soon as you get all those out, pops right out. So right now we're kind of hanging on the back and up front. So we got our control mounts out. What are we doing here? <laughs> so we're on the rear here. Uh, once the wheel's out, they're really easy to access. Uh, the top two have a nut on the back and the bottom two below the swing arm down here are threaded in. Um, another point is that this motor mount has a dowel pin in there that actually recesses into the mount on the frame. So you have the motor mount piece and then there's a, a dowel that recesses back into the receiving portion on the frame. So once you pull these out, it's still gonna have something in there holding it together. It's not gonna drop back and actually get this motor out. We've gotta take it forward just a smidge to get those dowels to disengage. Out. And again, nothing's going to drop out once you pull those out because they do have those dowels that will keep it seated in the frame. So basically we got those out, we got the front out, and now we just need to disconnect our front. And then the motor is just sitting in there and we're ready to manhandle this thing out of here. So we got everything out, now's the time, the moment of truth here. This part sucks. You just got to wiggle this thing out, take your time. It will come out, uh, try not to mess stuff up grabbed another buddy here to help hold our frame. Uh, like I said, a lot of people had success. They just laid the whole thing sideways down on the floor and then kind of wiggled the frame around. 
Uh, it does come out one direction. You want to go primary side out um, because your primary hangs over your frame in this portion. So it's got to come that way. Um, and like I said, because of these dowels in the back, you want to kind of shimmy it forward first to engage it from, or to disengage it from the back motor mounts, and then we'll go that way. So here we go. Just like that. Fancy engine stand here, a nice uh, Dunlop. Frame ready for surgery. So at this point, uh, it's time to get our hardtail, bust out the directions, follow the measurements, make our uh, measurements over here on the frame, start cutting this thing up, and uh, graft the hardtail on. <laughs> 